Tech Life, Eat Depression, it's day 654, and we're back for more with another somatic healing session to wipe out depression. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here now. Anyone who's tuning in later, as you know, this is a martial arts for mental health show, so we want to focus on mental health first. And using those tools, those free mental health tools that we all have available to us to give ourselves a fighting chance against things like depression, anxiety, panic, fear, and other things that we may be dealing with that are prohibiting us from making progress in life. So, the first mental health tool we're gonna tune into, the first one we're gonna focus on is a powerful one. It's the tool of gratitude. The more you use it, the more powerful it becomes, the easier it becomes to find those silver linings and things to look forward to in life. And today, I think you can guess by the creepy dummy lurking behind me where my gratitude is headed. My gratitude is going out to Century Martial Arts of Europe for donating this Bob, for nominating me for the Bob skirt and sending me this free Bob. Um, he's gonna enhance my training routine. He's gonna enhance my accuracy, my technical striking skills. And not only that, <laughs> not only that, but he's gonna help a lot of other people uh, get in a somatic release, a somatic experience through that training. So I wanna shout out a huge amount of gratitude to Century Martial Arts um, for the Bob. And we'll be using Bob just a tiny bit today just to illustrate, but we're actually designing a whole new segment. I've got a whole new segment coming up for Bob. It's a BYOB party, bring your own Bob. So if you or someone you know out there is a martial artist with a Bob and you'd like to join the party, we'll be illustrating different forms of martial arts, different technical striking, um, we're going to keep it light, keep it fun, keep it short, and it'll help raise awareness and empower people at the same time. We'll be able to learn new techniques and all grow together, and that's what it's really about. So gratitude again going out to Century Martial Arts, Century Martial Arts of Europe for donating the shirt, for donating those shoes, gloves, all that cool merch, and now the Deep Depression Bob is here. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. Really do appreciate you. You're going to be the highlight of my gratitude today. Gratitude also going out, of course, to everyone here now and anyone who's tuning in later for supporting the cause and helping us build this social support system for one another. Let me just shout out to whoever is here first. Wen Roses Blossom, thanks for being here. Simon Amaze, Mad with Hats, Lisa the Luminary, Luca, Brett, and Hello Nurse. Thank you guys so much, all of you, guys and girls, for being here and being a part of this. Appreciate you out there. That being said, let's talk about the next mental health tool, the progress tracking tool. It's been 654 days of consecutive training, consecutive progress. First me, the sack man, how many days has it been for you? If you've been training regularly or accomplishing that daily goal that builds you up mentally and physically the same way that like martial arts training does or hitting that heavy bag. If you've been doing that for yourself, you've been getting up and fighting for yourself, Keep track of it. Let me know how many days you've been doing, whether it's consecutive or not. Those days add up to more and more proof of how powerful you are to overcome those debilitating effects of depression and anxiety. So please do keep track of those things and let me know if you're making progress out there. Appreciate you guys. Uh, that being said, when we do share that number, that's a great way to inspire others to make progress in their lives as well and show them what's possible and show them that it's not just me out here doing this thing, but. We're, there's a lot more of us. We're all capable of moving forwards in life. And that being said, let's check in to some comments. <laughs> uh, Simon May said, hey, everyone, have a wonderful day. Love the positive energy. Thank you, Simon, for that. And <laughs> Luca said, oh, is that real? <laughs> he's, he's a real dummy. He's a, he's a real uh, training tool, and he's a great way to practice those technical strikes that we were talking about. Um, but he's not a human being with feelings and emotions. So <laughs> that's the plus side for training. Uh, Mara with Hat said, shout out back to Simon and everybody else. Uh, that's not <laughs> Lisa said, that's not Billy, is it? <laughs> no, that's not Bill. That's not Bill Bo Baggins. He's, uh, he's home resting, resting up. Uh, Mad with Hat said, low, beat depression, Bob. Awesome. Are you going to high out that guy from Luca? Yeah, we're going to high out him a little bit today. But we'll high out him a lot more in that Bob party segment, BYOB party segment that we've got coming up with other martial artists. And why? Why is it a party? Because Bob is a party animal. What makes him a party animal? He loves taking shots. You might say he was made for it. So tune into those. When we get that going, there'll be an, uh, we'll 
get up an advertisement before it happens, obviously, uh, give you a heads up. Uh, should be fun. We should be able to pick up some technical skills and also still empower each other and learn a lot and support each other. So it's going to be a cool segment coming up. I'm really looking forward to it. Yesterday, I got Bob assembled, and the first thing I had to do was start striking. It's like, that's what you must do. You must punch Bob once Bob is assembled. So I didn't get much sleep. <laughs> it's going to affect me today. But we're going to get through it. We're going to show up at our pace and move forwards. Um, hello, nurse, said Beat Depression Bobber. Woo! We're so glad to guess a lot today. Thank you for the support. Thank you for being here. Uh, Donald Living, thanks for being here as well. Hello, nurse, said six days of counting your days. Awesome. That's awesome. That is a week, right? Almost a week. Just about a week of progress. And the more you keep track of that, the more powerful that number will be. Lucas said it's day, he's on day three. I know you've done more than that, buddy, but you've been keeping track for three days, and that's good stuff. Brett DM on 36. That's over a month of progress. Good stuff. Brett Slayer Ken's up in this <laughs> biz. Thank you for being here, Ken. 354 days, almost a year of progress and training for Lisa. Shout out to Lisa the Luminary out there. Uh, Slayer, Ken, where are you at, Ken? Let us know where you're at with that progress. Thank you for the shout out of gratitude. 262 days of consecutive training for Ken. That's consecutive training for Lisa, consecutive training for Ken. They have not missed a beat. Lisa's almost there at a full year. Ken's at 262 days. Tremendous uh, accomplishments, tremendous progress. Ask them what that number has done for them uh, when you get a chance. Shoot them a DM or, or drop them a comment. Ask them how that number has impacted their lives. Because I know you wouldn't still be doing it if it wasn't having a positive effect, right? And there's been reports of multiple positive effects. That number has helped me multiple times get out of bed, get back into action. And by keeping track of that progress, it just continues to get better in my life as it reinforces that truth that we can fight for no matter what we are dealing with. It's also been 654 days with zero days of suicidal ideation and zero days debilitated by depression or anxiety. So those are my signs of progress. I hope you're looking for signs of progress and giving yourself credit for the endurance and strength that it takes to continue to fight forwards if you are fighting against these things. And I will, I'm letting you know now, like I have in the past, that I will be here every single day until I'm gone. Right? Every day for the rest of my life to support your growth. If you're willing to show up for you, I will be here to support you. So let's grow together. Let's train together. Let's flow together. And we're going to get this thing done. My goal, wipe depression off the face of the planet. Will it happen? Let's find out together. We're doing this thing every day. Get a little bit closer. All right. That's enough of that. Thank you, everybody, for the feedback and support. We're going to get into the lesson now. We talked about the list tool. We talked about the gratitude tool. Now let's talk about some striking. We're going to be practicing that standard jab and cross, those fundamentals. We'll be working on movement a little bit. I'll illustrate to you today how you want to turn that fist over and knock that depression dummy right out of your life. And this, Bob, will be our stand-in for the depression dummy today. So I'll show you, I'll illustrate on Bob. I'm not going to strike him with force, however, because I haven't had a moment to uh, fill his base with anything to support him. And I don't want to, you know, mess up anything up out here. Not that he'll get damaged, but it just won't be as productive. Also, I hope you guys can hear me over the construction going on in the neighborhood. New phone, don't have that directional mic set up yet, so that might be why you're picking up some extra noise out there. But even if you can't, you can follow along visually and you can go at your own pace. We're going to have some uh, beats to fuel that fighting spirit, that 80s fighting spirit coming out of our sweet boombox. If you want to find those beats and train to them yourself, post up a training video and we'll repost you on the main page and that way we can all raise awareness for each other. All making a positive impact out here. It's going to be our standard rounds. Me too. It's going to be three rounds, three minutes each, one minute breaks in between to catch your breath and drink some water. So make sure you're, oh yeah, that cap was loose. Make sure you're drinking water out there and staying hydrated. That's an important part of your self care. And as you know, this whole show is about self care, self love, taking care of yourself moving forward. Mm. So drink that water and stay hydrated. Bre breathe. When you're breathing through those strikes, breathe in the nose and out the mouth. If you want to add some force, purse those lips. <laughs> Exhale hard and purse those lips on those strikes. That'll activate that core and send more energy in to your punches. So as we said, we're going to be using that those basics, jab and cross. We're going to talk about the mechanics there, how to position the body. 
will work in movement and will vary that jab cross with levels just to keep things interesting. We can also throw in some switch stances out there. It's all about you challenging you to your skill level, so make sure you're going at your pace and giving yourself a challenge. If the basic jab cross is real easy for you and you're, you've got it down, right? You've got that fist turned, you've got the shoulder tucked into the chin, you've got everything centered, you're on balance, you're exaggerating those movements. If that's super easy for you, increase the volume. These are things you can moderate to your skill level. The volume of punches, the power behind your punches, and the speed at which you toss those punches, right? All of those things you're in control of so you can give yourself a challenge no matter what. Feel free to mix it up with southpaw, with orthodox, boom, boom, switch in between, finding that flow zone and making that progress your own. Bree Brickman, thank you as well for being here. Appreciate you. So that being said, let's talk about the breakdown of the jab and cross. And if you don't have a dummy, a physical dummy, to beat the tar out, knock the depression right out of, uh, knock the depression out of your depression dummy. Visualize that target. Visualize that physical form of a dummy. Assign them the name depression or anxiety, whatever it is you may be working on. By consciously acknowledging what we subconsciously do, we get to reinforce that truth that we are more powerful than these things. So make sure you're visualizing, make sure you're practicing that <laughs> target, that uh, accurate striking. Bob is in the house, fire, coming in from Reed Brickman. Thanks, Reed, appreciate that support. Um, I wonder if you have a Bob of your own, let me know. Reed's a martial artist out there doing Taekwondo style kicks. Maybe you could show us a few things on the, bo on the next Bob party. Let me know, hit me up in the DM. That being said, let's get into it. We're gonna talk about the jab, right? So we talk we talked about this millions of times, but let's just bring Bob into the picture and illustrate a little bit. And like I said, I'm not going to hit him with a lot of force because his base is not filled yet. But I just want to show you guys, when you're stepping in, number one, let's, let's do it without the step in. You want to square up hips and shoulders are squared with your opponent's hips and shoulders. Guard is up high by the brow line, fingers closed, thumbs tucked. Lead hand forward, right? Your jab hands forward, your dominant hands back. And we've been, we're in a square balance stance, that balance Muay Thai stance with the weight on the balls of our feet. Sink a little bit on the knees, keep it nice and centered, stand up straight, roll those shoulders, tuck the chin. So many things to refine out here. When you're in that Muay Thai position, what we wanna do is twist through the shoulders, twisting through the shoulders and turning that fist over like a corkscrew. Landing on those large two knuckles, making contact with that dummy's chin or with that dummy's nose. We want to aim for the nose, those soft spots, those tender areas. And we want to try and land not on the fingers, not down at the bottom, not on these two fingers or these two knuckles. We want to try and land on the large two knuckles. Making sure that we keep the wrist nice and straight and we turn through and twisting that fist over will allow us to get those killer angles and do those the most damage to that dummy. If you're practicing on that shadow boxing, if you're practicing shadow boxing out there and you don't have a dummy, just make sure you're turning that fist over and that's gonna prepare you for when you do get to a heavy bag for that somatic release or you get to a training dummy for that technical practice, also including a somatic release. That feedback is a powerful tool as well. So if you do get access to a heavy bag, you can get that feedback from the impact training, which also uh, relieves stress in the muscles. So there's totally, there's additional benefits to each one of these avenues. And that's why we're designing a totally separate segment for Bob. We don't wanna just cram everything into one because it's just gonna get too complicated. But totally separate segment for Bob to show you different ways, fun ways, and more effective ways of training when you do have a Bob dummy. So again, martial artists out there, let me know if you wanna join the Bob party and do some shots together. Uh, looking forward to that. All right, so let's get back into the jab breakdown. We're in our balance stance, right? We're shifting our weight forwards and backwards, chin tucked, guard high, fingers closed. We're twisting through the hips and shoulders, rotating through, boom, sending that fist right forward and turning that fist over so we land on those large two knuckles. Tuck that thumb under the top two uh, fingers, make sure that it's out of the way of danger, and aim for that depression dummy's chin, or that depression dummy's nose is a nice soft spot. You can also add the step in for more power. So we're gonna step in, boom, as you twist through, you step in, make it a power jab. I'm not gonna hit uh, with power now because that base is not filled, like I said, but you can see stepping in, it's gonna give me more range, more power, and let me put more body weight behind that shot. So step in for that power jab, boom, there it is. And then we're gonna talk about the cross. For the cross, once 
you toss that jab, we're preloaded for that cross, right? We're making sure that we twist those shoulders into that strike. So once we toss that jab, we're preloaded. We've preloaded this arm for the cross. We're gonna twist right on through, boom, and drive that fist through the face of that depression dummy. By turning on the ball of the back foot from this preloaded position, we get even more range out of that cross strike, and that's why that's the power strike. Gives us more room to accelerate that fist. Speed equals power. Gives us more range and distance. That's why we set it up with a jab so we know where that punch is gonna land. So, let's break it down one more time. The jab, we step in, twist through, turning that fist over, boom. Tucking the thumb, driving it right into the nose, the chin, one of those soft spots. For the cross from there, bop, twist through, boom. And don't knock your d dummy over. Or knock, do knock your dummy over if you're working with that visualized depression dummy. Shout out to the Real Flow 625 Appreciate your support and Bruce13Art. Thank you guys for being here. appreciate the support. Even if you're just tuning in for a moment, I appreciate that moment. Uh, it helps the cause. It helps motivate people to know that we're not alone out here. And that is a big thing. When you're dealing with uh, mental health struggles out there, to know that there's a lot of us. We're all individuals on individual journeys, but we are all dealing with similar situations, and we can all help each other by way of example or just by way of support. Sometimes you don't need to say anything. Sometimes you don't need to give advice or anything. You just need to be there and let the person know that they're not alone, and that alone can help tremendously, especially in critical times, uh, speaking from experience as a survivor. Uh, that being said, let's get back on track. We talked about the jab, boom, we can step in, twist over, twist that hand over, land on those large two knuckles. Now we're gonna level change with that, step into the jab, boom, twist through for the cross, level change, we sink on the knees, boom, and jab for the solar plexus, boom, center mass, Hit them in that soft spot right where the ribs come together. Um, and when we level change, we don't punch down for those lower punches. We just sink a little bit lower on the knees, and then it's the same mechanics. Twisting on the ball of the foot, driving through the shoulders, twisting through those shoulders, same rotational force, same type of strikes, and that is it. We're just breaking down jab cross fundamentals here and giving you those technicals on the knuckles and how to land without hurting yourself and doing more damage to the bag or your beat depression dummy out there. So that's going to be it for Bob. I'm going to set him aside since he's not yet fully supported. He doesn't have a strong base, a strong foundation. So once he's filled, he'll be ready for more powerful training and other, other techniques as well. In the meantime, we'll practice together. If you're at home and, you're, and you don't have a physical tool to get that release from, we're going to get it from shadow boxing and we're going to toss in some additional mental health tools to make it more effective for us. One more time, make sure you're drinking water. I'm going to get those tunes going. We're going to get right into it, starting with the jab, and we'll make it a flow-based session today. Mm. Keep it smooth. Moderate that power level. Moderate that volume and intensity. And let's get it going. Hopefully that's coming through loud and clear. New microphone setup, so I'm not sure how everything's gonna work out out there. But go ahead and visualize your target, and let's get this thing going. Square up, square those hips and shoulders. doing this thing. Three rounds, three minutes each, one minute break. Catch your breath in between, drink some water. Check in on you, let's go. Visualize that target. Square those hips and shoulders. Guard up high. Timer starting now. Shift that weight from the front foot to the back foot. And we're going to start by stepping in for the jab. Step in and twist through. Land to that punch right in the nose, right on the chin of that depression dummy. Twist back to square. Center it up and start shifting that body weight. Remember, you can carry your rhythm through the hands. You carry your rhythm as you shift that weight from the front foot to the back foot, keeping the knees bent and that weight loaded properly on the balls of the feet. By waiting, by shifting our weight to the ball of the feet, it helps us with that rotation. Let's rotate into some jabs. One, and back. Two, and back. Guard stays high on the opposite hand. 
three and back twist through those shoulders. Exaggerate that shoulder movement to train that muscle memory for next time when you're in a high intensity situation. That muscle memory will be there to serve you and get you into proper form. In the meantime, let's do it shadow boxing style. Start with a jab, cross now. Three, two, one. Twist through both strikes. Send them down that center line and land on those large two knuckles. Tuck in the thumb and thinking about accuracy. Visualize that target. One, two, and keep it moving. And keep it moving. Let's go. One, two, and back. Sinking on those knees. Head on the center line, chin tucked. Step in and deliver the pain. Drain to that depression dummy's brain. Let's go. One, two. One, two. One, two, and back. You can think about a rubber band from your hand to your head and bringing that hand back to defend the head after each strike. That'll make your strikes faster and get your defense a little more tight. Out there, let's go. And back. And back. And back, and back, bring that guard high, quick, exhale on those strikes, one, two, and back, keep it moving, work that in and out, forwards and backwards, closer and further away from that depression dummy, and deliver some strikes right to his nose, sink on those knees, rotate through, and remember your why, remember what you're fighting for, we're fighting for a better quality of life that we deserve. How do we know we deserve it? It's based on what we give. So give it your best out here. Get focused. Exhale hard. Drive those fists forward. Let's go. Sink on the knee. Drive through. Put that whole body weight behind it. Turn those fists over. And hit that dummy in the face. Let's go. Visualize doing damage to that dummy's face. Visualize depression getting weaker. As you get stronger, let's go, keep the moving. Exhale hard on those strikes. Work that in and out, you can work lateral movement as well. If you're still here, one foot at a time, don't let them come together. Step in for the jab cross, move around. Visualize that target and that's the end of round one. Catch your breath, drink some water, check in on you. And push to your level. Even though we're practicing just jab and cross, it doesn't have to be boring if your skill can increase that speed. So we're going to start with level changes in the next round, and we're going to add in switch stances as well to marry up that training and give ourselves a challenge. Woo! All right, back on track. Catch your breath, drink some water. We got 30 seconds to get back into it. Sixteen seconds on this next one. We're gonna start level changing. So what are one of those things that you want to go high and then low, right? High sink on the knees, low for the cross, or high sink on the knees, boom. Rewind and toss some jabs in there. Aim for the solar plexus. If you're going straight shots, that's a nice weak spot in the center of those ribs, right where the pecs kind of end. Those ribs come together. It's a nice soft spot. Hit it. Do some damage. Really. Reset your opponent's brain. Let's work on it. Start stepping in for that jab. And back. And back. You can turn it into a rhythm here. Punch to the beat. Punch at your pace. Send that fist down that center line. And now we're going to jab cross. Add in the cross. And back. And back. And back. And back, two shots, jab, cross to the face. We're gonna add in those level changes next. Step in for the jab, twist through, really twist those shoulders. Tuck the chin into the shoulder for added defense. Landing on the large two knuckles. Now, back to stance, and we're gonna start with a low jab. Step in and sink on the knees, twist through and hit that chest, dead center chest, with those large two knuckles. solar plexus right in that weak spot step in and sink boom to the solar plexus and sink back stand up tall return to stance jab cross to the face back to stance now we're going to sink in for the solar plexus shot boom right to the center and rewind back 
Same thing, same motion. Step in, twist through the shoulders and hips, and drive that body weight through. Only difference is we're adjusting that height by bending those knees a little bit more. Don't lean into it. Don't lean forwards or backwards. Don't aim down because you'll leave your face exposed. Keep that guard high. Sink on the knees. Twist through a bone and deliver that jab. Back to stance. Jab cross to the face. Down that center line. Now jab. Low jab here. Boom. Step in and sink on those knees. Twist through and deliver that jab to the solar plexus. Jab cross to the face. Back to stance. Sink for the low shot. Boom. Back to stance. Jab across the face. Back to stance. Sink for the low shot. And back in. Now we're going to vary that up and turn it into a combo. It's going to be jab, cross to the face. Sink from there. Twist through. And finish off with that final jab to the solar plexus. Back to stance. Let's do it. Step in for jab, cross to the face. Sink. Boom. Hit that solar plexus. And back it out. I'll show you on the bob. Step in for jab, cross. Pop. Sink, bam, finish him up with that shot to the solar plexus, back to stance, let's go. One, two, three, and back, get that guard back as quick as possible. One, two, three, and back. One, two, three, and back, let's go. One, two, three, and back. One, two, three, and back. That's the end of round two, catch your breath, drink some water. We're gonna be adding some, adding in some stance changes. Next, remember push to your skill level. If it gets too complicated, stick with orthodox stance and work that high-low. We're also going to add in the cross to the solar plexus as well as the jab. So you have plenty of options there, even if you're just using straight punches, right? Two, pun two straight punches, jab and cross. There's a whole world to explore their creativity and customization to make that training routine your own. Work on that movement, visualize that target, so throw some fakes, throw some measuring jabs out there, and then work those combos. Develop your own high-low combos. Find the ones you enjoy the most. Double pump, triple pump those shots. Work on variety, work on mixing up. Mixing things up, keep your enemy on their toes and keep you in control. Say you're fit, thanks for being here. Matias, thanks for being here, appreciate you guys. Back to stance, let's get into it. It's round three, so it's gonna be the most complicated round. We're gonna step in for jab, cross, we're gonna switch stance, jab, cross again, and back. This orthodox, let's go. Step in for jab, cross, boom, boom, switch stance here, bang, jab, cross, and step out, boom, back to orthodox stance. I'll show you what it looks like on Bob. We're gonna step in for jab, rotate for cross, switch stance, jab, cross again, and then step back, boom, opening up that space. Let's get it going. Working on that south boss switch. Keep that momentum going, shift that weight, front foot to back foot, let's go. Jab, cross, boom, twist, those knuckles over, swap the feet, bop, roll through, bang. And that's your four hit combo there. Jab, cross, switch, jab, cross, let's go. Boom, boom, switch, boom, boom. Remember that power hand that was your cross becomes your jab when we switch over to southpaw. So it's jab, cross, jab, cross, but those hands change. Watch closely, follow along. Step into jab, rotate for cross, swap stance, guard comes back, rotate again for the new jab, rotate for the final cross, and then push off the foot, the front foot, set yourself back to balance, orthodox stance. Let's go, step in for the one, two, swap the feet, three, four, and push off that front foot back to balance. Let's go, keep it moving. One, two, swap the feet. Three, four, push off that foot back to balance. Let's work that low cross in now. Forget about southpaw for a moment. Step into jab, sink on the knees, and twist through for that power cross to the solar plexus. Back to stance. Step in for the one, sink and twist for the two. Back to stance, I'll show you on the bottom. Step in for the one, pop, sink for the two, bang. Right there, twisting through on the ball, that back foot just like we do in the stand up for the high punch. And step in for the one, sink for the two, and back. Exaggerate that shoulder motion. One, two, and back. Keep it going. One, two, and back. Let's add in a third shot. One to the head, two to the body. Rise back up and cap them with the last head shot. 
and let's do it. Three hit combo here. One to the face, two to the solar plexus, three to the face. Back to stance, I'll show you on the bottom. Step in for one to the face, two to the solar plexus, one back up, and three to the face. Let's go. Visualize that target. And make that routine your own. Back to stance, let's go. Exhale hard on those strikes. Back in it. Sink with a two. Woo. Give yourself a bonus. Push to your level. Keep it going. And that is the end of round three. Thank you guys so much for being here and supporting the cause and supporting each other. First and foremost, we gotta show up for ourselves. This is my daily self care routine. Make it your own, make it your own daily self care routine. And by showing up for you and taking care of you, you'll be in a better position to help anybody else. And if you're a recovering people pleaser, think about this. Don't the people who you love the most deserve the best version of you? Don't they deserve the happy version of you? Where you gotta start? Right here, right with yourself. Until next time, I will catch you guys same time. Same sack channel, same sack button. Sack man out. Woo!